Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In today's video, we'll be discussing exercise 10.1 uh, from Mr. Thomas' book. And this is about S domain circuit analysis. So if you recall, in, from time domain to S domain, when we convert inductor, there are two options. One is called the series option, and other is called the parallel option. L is replaced by SL, and then we have a voltage source. Similarly, here in parallel, we have a current source. Same goes with the capacitor. We have 1 over SC for the capacitor, and then there is a voltage source. And this is series circuit, and this is in parallel combination. And our question will be using this because our circuit is more like a series circuit. Let's see the circuit. Transform the circuit into S domain and solve for voltage VCT. So we have to keep in mind that we need to find the capacitor voltage. Now, what is given is the uh, input signal VAEAT. This is the input signal. And the initial value is given V0. This transform we'll be using because our signal has EAT. So we'll write uh, for EAT, we'll write 1 over S plus 1. So VA, EAT, UT will become VA over S plus 1 in S domain. And as I just mentioned that the capacitor, this is more like a series looking, a series circuit, so we'll use the series equivalent of the S domain capacitor. So our circuit will now become like this. So this is VA, S over A. R remains same, capacitor becomes 1 over SC or CS, and this will become V0 over S. Now, in our case, V0 is capital V0, so V0 over S, and this is VCS. Okay, so the question says we have to find VCT. In time domain so in s domain or the laplace domain it will become vcs so we need to find this vcs okay now if you uh, look at the circuit carefully from here this portion is vcs and this is in parallel to that and we know that in parallel the voltage remains same so if you find the voltage uh, be between these two or across these two, then that will be equal, equal to VCS. So we take a current and we call it IS. And then we'll write KVL equation for this circuit, so starting from the negative terminal, VA divided by S plus A, IS into R, then IS into 1 over CS, and this voltage source. V0 over S is equal to 0. From here, we'll find IS. We're just manipulating, keeping these two here. And the voltage is on the right-hand side. Taking common IS. Then um, denominator CS and this. Now for IS, uh, we'll move this to the other side. So this will be VAS plus A divided by this thing. And similarly, V naught S divided by uh, this term. And if we invert it, because it is dividing fractional division, therefore it will become CS divided by RCS plus 1 here. And same thing on the other side. Okay, so we were here, and now we'll uh, simplify this. So what we are doing here is 
that uh, we are trying to simplify. So uh, first of all, we got to write it in this form, x plus something. So x plus, uh, we take rc common from here. It will be x plus 1 over rc. And same here, we take rc common. And now see what all we can cancel. C and C gets cancelled from here. S and S gets cancelled, and C and C gets cancelled. So this is what is left. And now we'll, we have found I. We'll now try to find this voltage. Again, we'll use KVL. But for this portion, we'll write VCS. So, same equation minus this one, IS into R plus VCS. That means VCS will be equal to these two are moving on the right hand side. So, VA over S plus A minus IS into R. So, we have found VCS in this form. Now we need to put the value of IS, which we calculated to be like this. And then we'll simplify. So this, the current multiplied by R. And then bringing R inside. And here again, we'll now simplify. So this R, R gets cancelled, so we are left with this, and same here. And now what we will do is, if you open the bracket, this term will become positive. And bring positive first. Sorry, we take common from both of these. VA over S plus 1, so it is 1 minus S divided by S plus R3, plus this terms remain here. And from here, we take the uh, denominators. So on the top, it will be S plus 1 RC for 1 minus S. This remains unchanged. Now here we can cancel uh, S and S. Now the numerator will be 1 over RC, and S plus 1 over RC, and the second term remains same. And now we multiply this, so it will be V A over RC in the numerator, and these two terms uh, in the denominator, plus V naught term. Now we says there are two multiples here or two factors in the denominator. We have to use a partial fraction to expand this. So in partial fraction form, we are, we are just treating this portion now, calling it Fs. Fs can be written as A over S plus 1 plus B over S plus 1 over RC. So this is the I hope you know the partial fraction technique. So we are following that. And from here, A will be the denominator term multiplied by this whole thing. So when we multiply this, then S A term will get cancelled. So what will be left is this term. So V A R C over S plus 1 over R C. We also have to put a condition. When we put S plus A is equal to zero, that means S is equal to minus one. So this is the condition that we will use here, so S minus one. And now putting the value of S, we get this relation of this value for A. And similarly for B, same technique. This is dividing, so we multiply Fs with this. And this equal to zero means S is equal to minus one over RC. And again, when you multiply this by FS, then RC, RC gets canceled. So VA, RC divided by SA. 
and the condition is this so for s now we'll put minus 1 over rc so this is the value for b okay so we had this one from here we solved this and we found these two values and then we calculated for a so we got a and we have calculated b so we got this b so now we'll put this value of a in here and b in here to find this factor okay so for this we have put in the value of a divided by s by a then value of b from here divided by s plus 1 over rc and then this one is now back so this is remaining there so this is bcs and we can rearrange uh, this the positive term we are bringing it first and then uh, from here we can take the negative sign out so it will be one over oh, okay we, we are using this one first from here if you take the negative sign out it will be one over rc minus one divided by src and then this term remains as it is here only we are changing the position one over rc minus a so we were here and now from both of these if the denominator is same we can write it like this that is v0 minus this term divided by the denominator s plus 1 over rc and the last term remains as it is and now just imagine that this is one constant this is another constant and we have s plus rc and s plus 1 a sorry at the denominator so now we can take inverse laplace transform and we'll go back like this so 1 over s a will be e minus a therefore this term remains as it is s plus 1 over rc from here can be written as e raised to the power minus t over rc or minus 1 over rc into t and similarly for this it will be e raised to the power minus a t so this is the answer but uh, since uh, we uh, are taking single sided laplace transform therefore we will make sure that it is from uh, right hand side of the zero that is why we multiply with ut so this is the final answer which is given in the book so i hope you have been able to follow this please let me know through your comments thank you